Hi, I'm Dale Doherty, and we're here at the National Maker Fair on the campus of UDC. And I have Kate Gage, who's an advisor of the U.S. Global Development Lab at USAID. Is that right? That is correct. All right, got it. Well, it's good to see you, Kate. We've seen you at a lot of maker fairs. And and your your focus really is, in, in, in at least one of your projects, is looking at the maker movement in developing countries and, uh, and, and really kind of almost a mixing back and forth between what's going on here in the U.S. And, and countries like Africa. So, I mean, just tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, we have basically two things. One is trying to get the maker movement here in the states and across the world to focus on global challenges uh, like global health and agriculture, clean water. Um, and the other one is to empower local makers in their communities to come up with solutions for uh, the problems they have in their own world. Um, so we look at in creating spaces, um, access to tools, um, and then also convening makers in the developing in in the um, in DC and across the United States to to solve uh, global problems. So a pretty good example of that was the Ebola challenge. It was. We brought um, we threw a couple different uh, workshops with uh, engineers, makers, designers, and global health experts uh, to tackle issues like the protective equipment that the healthcare workers had to use across West Africa during the Ebola crisis uh, and various other issues. We ended up actually redesigning the protective equipment down from about 15 individual pieces to one piece of protective equipment that could be put on and off in less than five minutes. Now I saw a talk by Jill Andrews the other day who was one of the contributors there. She's fantastic. She's a wedding dress designer out of Baltimore. She went to the Johns Hopkins workshop that we helped support and she looked at the problem and she said, I can make a wedding dress. I can help solve this problem. She joined the team. She was a key part of it and they won the grand challenge that we put out there to fight Ebola. I loved it. She said, I'm a maker. I can make anything. I can make a Volkswagen out of fabric. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> later she said, if you could build a bra, you could build a bridge. Build a bridge. So she just erased all the distinction between engineering and, and uh, you know, uh, textiles and everything. It was, she was wonderful. Yeah, we're really proud of that work. And we're already seeing the impact of it across West Africa and for future outbreaks. So tell me about efforts to kind of seed uh, some of this locally in, in places like Africa. Yeah, the, we work really closely with a couple different groups, including um, uh, some labs out of MIT that do workshops uh, in places like Tanzania, Uganda, across Kenya, uh, to show the local people that they can be builders and makers and creators in their own communities. Uh, a great example is a guy out of Tanzania who's um, started doing bicycle-powered mechanics. He's done bicycle powered uh, corn shuckers and blenders for drinks. He's started companies within his own community, all based on local materials, seeing what they have around and how they can repurpose it for their own. Now, if, if people want more information, where can they get it online? USAID.gov, USAID.gov. Okay, great. Thank you, Kate.